since we haven't been together for like Cheers. fucking ever. Ever in a day. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. It was almost mm-hmm. synchronicity. Mm. Oh, my God. That is. Oh. Do you want this is yummy, too. No, we no. can't. Oh, yeah. Least... I know. I should have. I should have. I should have put some in a glass for you. Uh, it's okay. But you know what? I highly recommend it. Mm. How about that? Mm-hmm. I give it a, a five out of five ghosties. Oh, good. On the Richter scale. He's laying down on the job over there. What the wow. piece? Look at that. Did it go again? Oh, I don't know. There's no way it could, like, kill the... Look at... Wow. From 100% to nothing. See, wow. it's fucked. That's weird. I know. That's it's... a neat little charger you got there. Though. Isn't it, though? Mm-hmm. That's awesome sauce, except you need the, to get a new lap. It's... You need to get a new iPad. I know. But Let's I make you some money. Yeah. I don't know why it started doing this. We're going to do a GoFundMe page for a sure. GoFundMe page eyes. so I can have a fucking <laughs> iPad. Because this one's about 15 years old. Well, no, it can't be that old. No. But anyway, as long as I have something to read... I only have a little bit of the haunting at the bottom on the third page. Haunting? Thanks. But maybe we should start it here at the killing point of nine minutes and 58 seconds. Oh my God, Whoa! we're back! We're back in the same fucking hey! room. Holy shit. Reunited <laughs> and it feels so good. Way overdue. And we have a little guest guest kitty. And she's a, not meowking from... A little horny kitty. She's in heat. Oh my God, and she's like 11 months old. Cat scratch Time fever. To fix you. Time to get you. Fixed. Yeah, but holy crap, how long has it been? You know, honestly, what? how long has honestly, it been? Honestly, really? I think February. Like it was uh, like one on one. It was basically plague season. Then. Yeah, it was just before the plague hit. Well, because you were, we were already coughing, sick. sick I know. And the dogs. I think I was over it though, because remember, I yes. wasn't feeling good till the end of January. Yes. So I'm pretty sure we got together in February. So we we're just slightly post plague, pre plague. Right. Yeah. Like, you know, we didn't know what know. was coming. I know. So no. that was the last time we were physically... Well, I've seen her once or twice. We yeah. made the draw. Yeah. We had a contest. We distanced in the yard. We distanced. We were very careful. <laughs> our lovely Robin, who won our prize pack that we put up on Facebook for Oh, yes. That's May. right. Yep. We still haven't gotten to her, and not because we're slackers, but just the whole... We've had shit happen. We've had some health. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Shit going on, blah, blah, and then blah. COVID, crappy, crappy. Blah, blah. COVID, blah, blah. So anyway, so that. Yeah. And uh, Robin's been very good. She's actually at her daughter's wedding in Alberta, and she'll oh, get yay. back to us. That's nice. Yeah. And when she gets back, she's going to invite us over to her COVID cafe Ooh, in her backyard. Happy wedding. Happy, blissful wedding. Yes. And if this one doesn't work out. There's always many more. That's no. right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like you know, it's good luck if it rains on your wedding. So, what does it mean when so it's they like say, COVID on your wedding? COVID on Shit, your you wedding. You married till you're like two hundred and three. I now take. Uh, <laughs> I now pronounce you hibernation and hibernation, mm-hmm. or isolation and isolation. Isolation and isolation. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, if anyone can make it through it, because uh, how many people were like divorced or? Oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> they say the divorce rate went up, right? That's ridiculous, though. You and you know what? At first, everybody was thinking more babies would be made. No, no, no I'm no. sorry. People are like, no, nah, don't touch me. Like, you could I've, be sick. I, yeah. Don't spread your germs. That's <laughs> so terrible, don't though, isn't it? Don't spread your love. Ew. But, uh, yeah, we're back. So yeah. this is Jazz. And Cher. And this is Giving Up the Ghost. Again. And Yay. we're in the cave. Pod cave. Yeah, we're in the cave. Yeah, we're, we're not in, in the, the pod cave. lounge. Pod cave. Yeah. My pod lounge is also now my work, work environment. <laughs> my work lounge. Oh, wouldn't that be good? But you know what? It's a very nice setup. I've had to clean it because I, I can't work in distraction. So much stuff. I yeah, still got a lot of shit around, but it's organized shit. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know. I have. Or- this is my house. My house is organized shit everywhere. We're all organized. It's all good. It's Ugh. all good. So it is a uh, wonderful Wednesday, wacky Wednesday. Wishful. Wishful. What did we do? We, yeah. we never had a W, did we? Well, we had Thursday, a Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Um, not, Monday, Monday. Not, we're not Weedful Wednesdays. I don't Weedful Wednesday? Shit. Nah. Uh, However, my, Whiskey Wednesday? Whis- that was what it was. There we go. Whiskey Wednesday. It's like Taco Tuesdays, only better. <laughs> That's right. More bang for your buck. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I am drinking a Snapple Spiked Long Island iced tea. I'm oh, really see? liking this. And I'm just having a twisted tea because it's but summer and we love shit, tea. tea. Cheers. And caffeine clink, clink, and booze. Clink, clink. clink. Yeah. But, oh my God, I love this. Mm-hmm. I think it's my new fascination. Mm. Yum. Yum is all I can say. So a lot has happened. Um, if you're still sticking with us, thank you so much. Oh yeah, thanks. We're and such slackers. You know, I like. checked our stats, and I'm. You know what? So much oh, has been happening. That's okay. Stop you, little horny bitch. So much has been happening. Like, 
with this COVID stuff, work stuff, readjustments, life readjustments. School shit. Shit, oh, shit. Like Ugh. everything. And you know what? I'm, I'm trying not. We took a little hiatus because we needed to be in the same room to record. So we're kind of waiting for that. Like yeah. we, we tried to get by for a while, but it just, it wasn't the we thing. We didn't have our thing thing. No, we we're losing our momentum, our pace. Like it just didn't feel, it felt forced, eh? Well, not forced per se, but because you know? there's always such a delay, you don't really get that kind of right. instantaneous yeah. connection. And shit. we look at each other for face yeah, cues and shit told? and we're very That's cartoonish. Terrible. Yeah, we are. You know? Like in general appearance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel a drawing coming on <laughs> from our wonderful oh intelligence, Sherry. But uh, yeah, I sewed a whole whole lot full of uh, oh, you have ghosties. A, you have a minion. I have a minion army of ghosties. You do. You have a minion. We call so, them a guinean. Guinean. <laughs> so if anybody out there wants a little ghosty mascot, I will give the first five away okay. to anybody who emails us at... <gasps> Get him with the ghost podcast at gmail.com. Woohoo! Excellent. I still remembered it. Woo! Very, very good. Yeah. And uh, so, been busy with the sewing, just trying to get things done. It just, now we're in the room. We wanted to be together. We wanted to record properly. So, we, we missed being together. We really did. Yeah. yeah. It so, sucks. you know, we've only seen each other once or twice mm-hmm. and, and all that. We're just being safe, practical. We're not being like all no, we're not paranoid. Psycho. No. No, we are not sheep all. We're not sheeple people. We are people. That's right. <laughs> but uh, better safe than sorry. Yeah. And um, in saying that, like, I, I haven't been too, you know, that's why um, I said, you know, we're on hiatus this summer. Mm-hmm. You know, we were actually up until that point, I think, cranking out yeah. an episode every week for 70 weeks consistently. I know. Yeah, I know. And I was very proud of that fact. But you know what? That was good. And we'll get back into that. But we will. Yeah. Different totally. times, different measures. Yeah. You know, this is the new normal. So, I mean, I wasn't looking at the stats I know. as much as I always yeah. used to be, like, every couple hours and stuff. Every couple of hours. He was an addiction man. <laughs> See? I don't know. Look at there you I don't go. know. So, I've, I've kind of, like, leaned back a little bit, you know. Well, you know, you have to. And plus, it seems like stuff. there's so much other shit going yeah. on now. So, it's, like, kind of hard. Eh? Yeah. So, I've relaxed with the stats. But it was funny. Now, I think, I don't know if I told you. It was funny because... I, I looked at one week a couple weeks ago. In one week, we, we barely had 50. Barely screeched 50 downloads. Yeah. And I'm like, that's okay. I get yeah, that. Whatever. I get that, yeah, right? I know. So if somebody finds us, discovers us, and, and you yeah. know, like binges. Yeah, exactly. G- have at or good yeah. on you. And tell a friend, won't you? Yeah, please um, tell a friend. About please tell a friend. <laughs> but at the same time, I checked uh, two days last, what are we now, Wednesday? So I, yeah. think, I think I checked Thursday and Friday, and it was like 30 and 50. Or thir- 30 and 20. So yeah. we had like 50 downloads in two days. Like, ooh, okay. Yeah. Somebody's still out there. Yeah, I know. Somebody still loves us. I know. Somebody so, still loves us. Yeah. It's just hard, right? I mean, like. That's right. Plus, you know, I think people are getting busy now, too. They're trying to, like, well, kind of figure out what the fuck is going and on, too. And it's summer. You don't have time to listen to no, people podcasts are going to the cabin, and shit. Or now they're thinking about getting school supplies for their kids, because I don't or, even know what the hell I'm yeah. supposed to buy, right? You so. know what? We'll get into it in a moment. We're going to be talking about the Winnipeg Auditorium, which mm-hmm. is now the Manitoba Archives Building. That's tonight's topic. Actually, we're Where, doing what our... What is that on, by the way? The St. Mary's. Okay. Or Memorial, I think. I can't... It's the cross street. Okay. I can't remember which address it goes by. What was I going to say? Yeah, and as always, we're going to be doing a few episodes tonight, and we'll have them out. Like, good little girls. We'll, we'll pound them out tonight. Pa- we'll pound her out. <laughs> we'll give her... Because I got the booze. We will try. We will try. Mm -hmm. Um, With the stats and the show and just recording, we're here. We're going to give her a go until we get isolated again, I guess. Or (sighs) wave two. The way it's going, I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know. As soon as school starts. I'm I'm honestly thinking as soon as school starts, going to just throw a shit into the... Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. There's no way. But now at least they made mass mandatory, which, I mean, I'm not totally impressed by it, but... But you know what? You know what? There's I don't so think they really have too many options, honestly. There isn't really. And you know what? I, I, I'm i not like living in fear like all those people say. No. But you know what? I'm cautious. I don't want to have my kid get sick and mm-hmm. give it to somebody whose grandma is 80. Like, you know. Well, that's just it. You could be like a carrier. Exactly. And asymptomatic. I don't want to be responsible no. for that. Like, shit. And you know, and it's funny. If, if, if you guys listen to us, if you've come back, if you haven't forgotten about us and yeah. you're eagerly waiting <laughs> for another, for another, another episode. For brand new spanking I, one. I was so sick in the back of, uh, what was it, December, Oh, right? shit. You were sick you for know, a long and time, too. I had to have an online or a phone consultation with my doctor for a pinched nerve in my back because of the way I'm sitting at work and shit. Yeah. At, or home at work. Yeah. And um, 
anyway, I gave her the whole rundown of that situation. She goes, yeah, I think you've had it. Well, because, yeah, you even went on, like, two different rounds of different kind of box and everything. Brutal. I know. It was so brutal. And she even said to me that uh, when they do the testing mm-hmm. for the antibodies, mm-hmm. they'll, she goes, I'm going to document this because they're going to be calling people in. Right. Exactly. So I know. they're already planning on I doing I told my that. dad to check it, too, because my dad was hospitalized on Christmas Day, and he yeah, was coughing. That's right. And- I remember no that. lung function and yeah. kidney impairment and like I mean that yeah. was bad. So if you think you've ever had it and you think you've ever had COVID or whatever it is, yeah, this mutant virus, you know you don't want to get it again. So I am yeah. just we're just cautious. Yeah. I'm cautious. Well, shit, even I I wasn't that sick, but every time I laughed, nope. I was coughing my yeah. lungs out. Yeah, yeah. like we're sitting there talking. Ha ha. It's like, <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Maybe that's the everyday thing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's your normal share. Sorry. Yeah, I hope so. Didn't oh, sorry. Didn't disappoint you. But. but anyway, so again, giving up the ghost, we're back. Now we've babbled. We've done yeah, our we've babbled overweighted. We've babbled. That's all we fucking do. Yeah, we got re- we, we to pump out a few shows tonight, eh? We chat way too much. So, we should just have like okay. a chat show. Just call okay. it Shits and Giggles. Shit. The shit show. <laughs> Oh, and that's another thing. Okay, so it's not like... Well, I'm that's home. another thing. The shit show? We have a shit show? No, we don't have a oh, shit show. Okay. If, okay. My, if my kids recorded their own podcast, that, oh, would, there be, you go. that would be called the shit show. That would be a shit show, Because yeah. they're hilarious. I miss I, your kids. I know. They I'm, miss you guys coming oh, to the I house, too. I love you. But when I'm watching TV, okay, like, I know it sounds really, really bad, but when I'm working, I need the TV on. Mm-hmm. I'm actually watching Kelly and Ryan in the morning. Oh. My best friend, Debbie, she'd hate that. She hates Kelly Ripley. Okay, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Debbie doesn't listen because scary shit scares her. So oh, whatever. Scary. Yeah, scary I know. Shit is supposed scary to be scary. cat, scary cat. <laughs> anyway, but uh, it seems like lately, every time they have a guest on, and at the end they're like, "Oh, and you have a podcast now." <sighs> Everybody and their fucking dog has a podcast. Well, Everybody. Jesus, is that funny? It is funny, actually. Is. I know. Like, I mean, we're not in competition with anybody but oh, ourselves. Oh hell no! Or no. if we are, I don't know. I don't know. We won't whisper about it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they still only have like 19 followers. Really? Mm. Oh well. Wah, wah, wah. That's a shame. Anyway, anyway, we're not bitches. We're better than that. <laughs> but we are back, bitches. <laughs> um. So tonight we're going to talk about the Winnipeg Auditorium. It's a beautiful building, and I don't think a lot of people really know the history. Now it's known as the Manitoba Archives, but. We're going to read you a little of the history, and then we're going to get into the haunting. The haunting. Should I start up here? Certainly, my dear. Okay, very good. It says, the Winnipeg Auditorium was an indoor arena in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Yes, that's where we are. It was a premier site for ice hockey and went, really? Was yeah. It was a premier, really, eh? Yeah. For ice hockey in Winnipeg from the time of its construction in 1898. Mm-hmm. It was wow. like It was like the shit before the arena. Really? Before the, the Centennial shit. Concert so Hall. so small, though. It's not that big. For like, ice hockey? It's got floors. Like, there's parts of it that the public doesn't necessarily doesn't access. Oh, okay. To. Well, yeah. that makes sense then, yeah. The auditorium rink hosted several Stanley Cup Champion Series. Mm-hmm. Yay! That would be cool. Considering there's no fucking sports <laughs> this now. Time. Jesus. It was located at the intersection of Gary Street and York Avenue. It was destroyed by fire in 1926. Another building, also called the Winnipeg Auditorium or Winnipeg Civic Auditorium, was constructed in the early 1930s and located at the corner of Memorial Boulevard mm-hmm. and St. Mary's Avenue. Its purpose was to hold concerts, display art, and hold conventions. Well, yeah, that's so what they do. So if it was, okay, so the first one was St. Mary's and Gary. Right. So, so maybe, that would be like, uh, I'm trying to think, Gary. Gary Street is like, Shit. yeah. Is that the post office or the cop shop somewhere around there? Uh, yeah, I think so. That's huh. what I'm interesting. thinking. Like, but then it burned shit. down. I mean, but I'm just trying to logically try to figure think why they moved be. it. Maybe because, you know what, there probably wasn't a whole hell of a lot of room there. Probably not. They, if, ice hockey, you need a bigger spot, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So, right. Uh, by 19, um, sorry, by 1898, the sport of ice hockey had become popular as both a participation sport and spectator sport in Winnipeg. Spectators. Spectator. Spectator. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Until this time, most ice hockey had been played on the rinks of curling clubs in Winnipeg. The auditorium was built at a cost of about 20 grand. Holy shit. You can't even buy a small no car for 20 grand. shit. Construction was financed by a group of very prominent businessmen, among them E.L. Drury, proprietor of the Redwood and Empire Brewery. I've heard of that name before. I have. Uh, F.W. Stobart. I think that's what became uh, the brewery there at Redwood, wasn't it? Yeah, but even the name. I think I've heard this name in relation with something else, too. 
Uh, F.W. Stobart of Stobart & Sons Dry Goods and J.H. Ashton of Ashton's Hardware. Oh, yeah. And A.M. Nanton, partner of the financial firm of Oster, Hammond & Nanton. The wood structure held an ice surface measuring 200 feet by 80 feet. Hmm. Following the regulation size of the Victoria Rink in Montreal. Really, eh? That was like regu- regulation then. An auditorium could seat about 2,000 spectators for hockey plus standing room. Over the years, yes, standing room was probably like another 5,000 people. No kidding. Yeah. Over the years, it was renovated and expanded to hold over 3,500. The facility also contained a coat check room, a ladies' room, and four or five dressing rooms. In the basement under the ice were four bowling alleys. That's cool. That would be weird, so eh? Cool. People like skating above you and you're bowling in the basement. A little bit of everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. What, is, what What's a ladies' room? I don't know. Like not like we're not talking a pee pee room. We're talking like some other. Lady. Well, wouldn't that be like a pow- wouldn't that be like a, a powder, powder room? room? They have to like. Well, look at it's the bay. A specialty thing though. Well, you know yeah, what I mean? But look at the bay downtown. Yeah, like yeah. that one's pretty. That's pretty fancy. flamboyant. Yeah, that one feels haunted. If you've ever been in there. Yeah, I know that <laughs> whole, the whole thing. The same freaking <laughs> statue when you walked in the door there. That mannequin that never seemed to change. Oh yeah. The arena was used primarily for ice hockey, but also hosted professional boxing. Oh, cool. Until it was destroyed by fire in 1926. In 1931, a new Winnipeg Civic Auditorium was constructed. This was not a sports venue, but a music and theater space. The Shays Amphitheater was constructed in 1909, seating 5,000. Okay, if this was constructed in 1909... Well, yeah, I was going to say 1926 to... I know. So I'm just wondering if this was something else oh, and they just... I think it they served Winnipeg. It served Winnipeg until the construction of the arena in the 50s. Right, right. So they were there until 09 and then they're like, okay, we're going to take over that building. Uh, the arena was used by the Manitoba Hockey Association as the home rink of Winnipeg Victoria's Winnipeg Hockey Club and the Winnipeg... Oh, the Winnipeg Rowing Club. Hmm, interesting. Uh, yeah, because that's... The Rowing Club. The Rowing Club. That's kind of far. Isn't it, though? That's odd. I wonder if they that had, is like, odd. venues there. That could have just been know. their home base, maybe. Yeah. Right? Uh, it was used in, in 1902 for a Stanley Cup Challenge Series between the Victorias and the Toronto Wellingtons. And in 07, it was used for Stanley Cup Challenge Series between the Kenora Thistles and the Montreal Wanderers. Jesus Christ. The you know, Thistles. Of- the Thistles. The nice thing about your cat being horny and stuff, she's yeah. more lovey than scratchy. She is really lovely. I know. <laughs> At least she's not like howling like a freaking yeah. banshee, though. Mm-hmm. Hello. She's like, what are cat, you doing cat down inter- here? Cat interference. Yeah. <laughs> Penalty time. Cat Penalty, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. It seems like they used a lot of other places until they were all amalgamated mm-hmm. into here, right? Right. Because it's like we got 1898, we got 1907, we got 1902, and they all amalgamated into like... This particular building. So there's like places coming from all over the friggin' place, right? Right. When, yeah. uh, I think you have a section on the architecture. We can either skip it or I actually have some fun facts. Me and Jen actually last year when doors open was still here. Yeah. Oh, Willow. Yeah, that didn't quit doing it. We got swing in the microphone. <laughs> she, she just, she oh. scrubbed it <laughs> Poor kitty, you're going to get shocked. Oh my God, oh my shocker. God. She's Willow. making love to my uh, compressor here. My, oh, as long as she doesn't my short sound it compressor, out. my Steinberg. She's making love to the Steinberg. Oh, Willow! Oh, You're poor little kitty. A, okay, poor little kitty. Yeah, be that's girl. okay. Okay, you love so, well, that this, up. This thing won't go anywhere. No, so you love that up. Um, so, like when Sherry had other engagements, we were recording at the Dolvner. And oh, then that was when I had yeah. my. Mom and dad. Yeah, wedding yeah, yeah. anniversary, yeah. So we, uh, me and Jen, our third wheel. Hi, Jen! Hey, Jen! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh. Don't spill my shirt. Yeah, get away, Willow. Anyway. Yeah. Um, a little excitement on a Wednesday mm-hmm. night. A whiskey Wednesday. Um, we went to the uh, Winnipeg Auditorium, a.k.a. the Manitoba Archives. Oh. So cool in there. And we got some handouts. So I kept these handouts for a very special moment. So as you knew tonight. it was going to happen, I right? knew. You knew it. So they had a couple handouts. This cat's trying to smell my breath here. <laughs> She's like, what are you drinking? I had oh, a chef's, that's schnapple. I had a chef salad, my dear. <laughs> Watch her stand on my phone and make some yeah, sound know, effects right? here. Um, she's just checking out our work environment. That's yeah. okay. She loves uh, us. The inspector, Inspector Willow. They had an interesting handout because the architecture in this building is still intact. Like it's used for files and all that good stuff now. But back in the day, you know, like I don't know how they I guess they converted it because they needed to move my understanding. And I guess I'm probably talking too far ahead. They had to move everything 
archived at the legislative building and then they moved it to the archives or over moved, there yeah they moved it to the winnipeg auditorium well, shit, then they've conglomerated like well, because, a shitload of stuff in because there, they then, had right? basically this government building that was empty once all these arenas and stuff were set up right right so right. they moved it because it was close to the yeah. you know whatever anyway and uh but it's such a beautiful building everything's still pretty much intact so we went on the tour we got to check things out um, on instagram if i remember i'll post some pictures that i took from i still have those pictures yeah, so yeah. i'll post those pictures but one of the handouts really cool it says the people who built it oh okay so cool. uh it says work was spread among companies and people for every part of the project architects excavators steel workers and electricians etc materials for the building were to be supplied from the greater Winnipeg or, if necessary, Manitoba, Canada, and the Empire in that order. Probably limestone because it was... Oh, yeah. That's so, again, you got your stone wall, with... you got your Garson, yep. Manitoba, and all that good stuff. Yep. And that's probably why there's spirits there. Mm-hmm. Um, also says, men employed had to be married or single with dependents and residents of Winnipeg for one year. Really? Exactly. That's odd. It is odd. So, they wouldn't, they wouldn't hire any single men? No. Nope. Or, or women by the sounds of it well yeah yeah of course hello <laughs> uh 15 percent of the men were engineers foremen and timekeepers half of the remaining 85 percent of the workers were unemployed men registered for relief and and half of them unemployed men registered for work hmm. oh so basically like, they were people that were in need of a job right exactly interesting uh labor was to be rotated Stop. men worked two consecutive weeks and were placed by others on the waiting list. Well, that's interesting, hey? Oh, so they were so they trying have... to spread it out, right? So yeah. you get your two weeks, you get some money. And then next. Support your kids, whatever, right? Oof, and then that was the... my shoulder. Yeah. Labor was, oh yeah. Companies petitioned the Minister of Public Works for inclusion in the project. One brick manufacturer wrote, Our men are suffering in common with everyone else. And we plead their case for them. We would like to get a portion of this work that sound regal i don't know no <laughs> i was trying to make myself sound like i'm from the 20s see from the 20s see no that would be chicago see? <laughs> i got a gun like, here like see bugs bunny <laughs> it's like bugs bunny cartoons murgatroyd yeah. murgatroyd it says eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty men days of work were divided among laborers from winnipeg and adjacent municipalities oh so all of a sudden then they Ouch. went to municipalities well, so, it's in the greater Winnipeg area, yeah, right? So, I guess that yeah, that could be one of that big, like, Selkirk area. Well, or... but in that time, that could have been, like, St. Boniface, because that wasn't yet a part... Ow. Bitch. Nasty. <laughs> Bitch, please. Yeah, um, no, that's true, too, yeah. because it wasn't really Winnipeg, right? I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like so, downtown. Was so like... it would encompass the mm-hmm. bedroom communities of, I guess, in those days, what would be considered the bedroom com- communities. Mm-hmm. Kind of like, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, according to an estimate, certain trades would have made work from project, more work from the project than others. Winnipeg carpenters worked 3.7 days per man, electricians and plumbers, 8 days per man, and plasters, 26 days. Exterior light fixtures were refurnished in 2002 when a man who had helped make them in 1932 saw their damaged condition and asked the province that they be repaired. No way. Wow. That's He's amazing. Like, I put those up. You assholes fix you them. You assholes f- fucking around wow. and letting my work deteriorate. Wow. Wow. Good on him. Yeah. Yay for you. You're probably not around now. I don't imagine and, that. No, no. He's deader than a doornail. Shit. But good and for you. And wanting the place. No, I don't Yeah. Know. Maybe. Fucking so. lights going off and on. You know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> right. In SOS. Yeah. I have a boring section. <laughs> <laughs> big well it's, it goes out and i think you have i got you a section of that too you get boring sections too remodeling and blah 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 and architecture i don't mean to diss it because it's art deco it's very no, beautiful but it's very cool. elegant well let's just scan look at okay. this it says it was constructed in 1931 to 32 and it cost a million bucks then that's mm. fairly costly in that time is it not that's a hefty price tag it is see it was like it there's tindal limestone is the building's material of choice mm-hmm well, of course, they use it through everything, right? Basically, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Long settled, they were, yeah, that's what the long settled Winnipegers. Decorative motifs were precast and not hand carved. Oh, were that's they? What, yeah, that's what I have here. Well, how the hell did they precast that shit? Huh. I don't know. I don't even know either. And then it also says. There were stubs says... with olive branches. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Provincial crests. Mm-hmm. And it says shallow precast carvings decorate the top and bottom of the pillars with bundles of corn cobs. <laughs> 
<laughs> Cornholio. Cornholio. <laughs> mm. Lovely. Well, no better than the wheat that's uh, at the top of the bridge there in St. Mary's. Yeah. That's, that's just the stupidest odd. thing ever. I, I like the bison touch, but yeah, the wheat. Yeah, just, yeah. That yeah. was kind of, mm, whatever, flaky. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually, you get clad in in limestone eh? yeah yeah so like they say limestone water mm-hmm. railways highways are all conductors of energy of the spirit world and you know like that could explain a lot of things I'm just trying to look at they said it was also known as uh, it says the auditorium graces memorial the memorial boulevard the street was once known as the mall Mm-hmm. Prime location for what was like the most important things, like oh, don't even start, you stupid cow. <laughs> <laughs> Prime performances like uh, the art gallery, the symphony orchestra, the Manitoba Museum, mm-hmm. like is all they kept it yeah, like yeah, yeah. Canada's That's... governor general laying the cornerstone. It's yeah. pretty cool though. But for all the activities, like that was the hub, like that was the yeah. the place to go. That was the hub in Winnipeg for anything, wrestling, roller skating. Ice skating. Frick everything. Everything. Think people got squished building that shit. Well, see, now you never see those details, eh? I know. You never see Ev- those stats. Anywhere. Why? Just like when we did, the, we did a quickie on the ledge when we were like yeah. social distancing. We still yeah. want to, all these topics, you know, we still want to come back That was a really to. good one. I really like that one too. Yeah. It was interesting. But I've, I've heard that before that a lot of people, and then now you can't find anything no, on it. No. They nice, don't have that. Nice cover up. Way to I shove know. it under the rug. Anyway. They don't want people to know about that kind no, of crap. Of but hey, not. I mean, it happens. Like, we That's know right. that. We know that. Yeah. I've got, uh, here is, oh. oh my God. Oh my God. Willow, <laughs> stop. Nobody That's wants to. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Her cat needs to get laid. My cat. Is... Um, but here it, it says a galaxy of international stars also appeared there. A galaxy? A gal- of it? No. Not a universe. A galaxy galaxy i don't think there was a galaxy of international i wonder stars who printed the time. no offense to anybody at manitoba archives like i mean it was great that they put all these resources yeah. together but mm, mm. i wouldn't use that word but i would say like um, constellation constellation a constellation okay. of stars all right jerry as opposed to a galaxy all right jerry drink your t- <laughs> twisted tea um but here i've got uh like people that performed i don't know a couple of these names but some of them i do uh yuhindi menhuin Oh, I know that one. You know that the one? Sh- sure. <laughs> you got his greatest hits album happening, don't you? Sonny James, Margaret Fontaine, Paul Robinson, The Trap Family Singers. Fuck, that's my favorite movie. <laughs> the Trap Family Singers? No, Sound of Music. Oh, okay. That's the original family. Oh, dude, I'm On sorry. I'm sorry. When you said every the mountain. Trap, the first person that thought it was the trap that we know. Oh, <laughs> Like, not Brian. No, not Brian. Brian no, the trap. No, 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 you're not the trap family but, singers. But uh, because they're known as the Von Trap family, right? The Von so Traps. Yeah. Okay, that's much better. Yeah. Good night, farewell. We <laughs> hate to say goodbye. <laughs> da, 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 da. That's anyway, all the songs I know. Huh? That's all. I, oh, I'll sing all of them. But I'm kind of drunk. So, Arthur Robinson, Glenn Gould, Petula Clark, which is from my mom's era, Susie Bjorling, Marion Anderson. Yeah, like there's, you know, like... Susie Bjorling. Susie Bjorling. Bjorling and Anderson. <laughs> and Anderson. But, um, yeah, but uh, then it had a demise yeah, because yeah. it out it outlived its purpose because everything kind of split off as it normally does, right? Yeah. So we have in 1970, uh, the auditorium was sold by the city to the province for around one million dollars. But it, it, it took, took them a million dollars to build it. Well, they made their money. What mon- kind yeah. of turnover is that? But they made their money, I'm sure. Yeah, you I know. know. So after renovations was officially opened as the Manitoba Archives Building in September of 1975. And the principal occupants of the building are now the Archives of Manitoba and the Legislative Library. Hmm. That's cool. was not that a fine hide you do? Oops, sorry. I just rubbed that on the microphone. Didn't mean to do That's that. That's okay. But, um, yeah, like, it's so cool. Yeah, it cool says it also there. houses the Hudson Bay Company archives as well, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Because after time, like, all these archives have to go somewhere. Yeah, that's the scary thing, eh? You know, yeah. all that shit that goes somewhere. Yeah. Hopefully the university, like, has. Because, I mean. University of Manitoba has an extensive yeah. collection. Because I'm thinking if any building will survive, like, renovations, the universities yeah, yeah. are usually still around, you know? Right. So, but, like, yeah. even, even, like, this location, it's basically meant made built out of limestone so yeah. i mean 
part of it will burn. Like, I, know, I don't know. But, but you know how shit gets, like, re- see downtown yeah. and then everywhere everything gets rebuilt and repurposed for some other I know. Shit, and then they think know? they can buy something more efficient and cheaper, but that's the shit that burns up, like, I know. Poof. Yeah, because it's poof wood on. and it's not, the, I know. Yeah, so no. what else you got there? You want to finish off with the hauntings? The hauntings? The hauntings. I just um, like going must, to... Should I go from here during the flood of 1950? Oh, that part was a cool tidbit that I found. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So during the flood of 1950, the Red Cross set up its emergency headquarters in the Winnipeg Auditorium, which also doubled as emergency shelter. Jeez, I'm having trouble speaking today. <laughs> emergency shelter. Yeah, be kind to us. It's our first time yeah. back. For 3,000 uh, citizens. That's actually a lot of Isn't people, that really. Good, eh? That is, yeah. yeah. Well, at least they didn't ha- hold the bodies uh, in caskets like the... Uh, like. Um, our park theater there that we found out that little oh, tidbit yeah. that was pretty cool yeah. but creepy as evacuees left their homes the red cross provided emergency aid to more than twenty thousand people that's a lot of people and directly evacuated <laughs> 5500 it says on the haunting side hauntings there are tales of a woman who still works there in the afterlife oh i wonder as which though in which in which facility, right? I, yeah, they didn't uh, give a lot of details know, to where I... they saw her, but she's been seen by more than one person. Yeah, she's she's known to be she's seen roaming be seen. around in an older style dress, and it seems she's determined, like she has a job to do. Is it a residual haunting? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't know it's quitting time and she's actually dead. Um, <laughs> papers That's and books have me. been noted. <laughs> <laughs> Papers and books have been known to be misplaced or moved around. The occasional yeah. book has also been cited as flying off a shelf. And mysteriously, every now and then, the security, alar- security, alarms? Sh- 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 the security alarms go off for no reason. That's interesting. Probably because I'm, books move around. I'm probably. trying to think. Okay, so is it she a part of the archival place or part That's of... That's hard to say, hey? You know what I mean? There's yeah. just been so much shit in there. Like, what is I she mean, busy doing? Okay, like, theoretically, it's close to 50 years it's been an archive place. But yeah, you know how true too. things attach to possessions, okay? Yeah, there's so, so much you shit could have there. you could have archived old documents or something. You know, true. you don't know. You don't know where they came from, like, the ledge, right? So, oh, God. This will probably anything. Lead, <clears throat> this will lead into our next uh, episode that we're going to talk about the tunnels of downtown because there's tunnels that lead to the archives as well. Freaking everywhere and everywhere. I Freaking know. Everywhere. It's like an ant colony under our city. Why don't Why don't they have tours of that shit? Why don't they talk about this? Nobody talks about know. this. Why not? I don't Mobs. know. Mobs. Like, but I mean, or maybe they run shit. You know, hookers and booze. That's hookers a good time. And, <laughs> mobs, hookers and booze. Hookers no, no, booze. I was talking about our politicians. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, hookers and yeah, there you go. Uh, anyway, hookers and booze and lies. Yeah, so it's been reported a few times. Um, I went there uh, just to ask some questions from the security guards, and the security guards they wouldn't say anything. They personally had never seen anything at Manitoba Archives. Mm-hmm. You know, but they said, uh, I gave them the card to giving up the ghost podcast. Yay. And, uh, yay. And they said if they hear of anything, they would let us know. I mean, that was like last year and stuff. But, yeah. But at the same time, um, they it's said they've heard things. It's probably a quiet place, They've heard, though. like, they, there's other security guards because they don't always work the same post. They get moved around and stuff. And one of them did say that they had a friend that worked there. And yeah, he and they're seen, like, He yeah. had seen some stuff. He, it's, they talk about it and stuff. But, you know, it's probably something they... You don't want to believe, no, right? Because no. if you start believing into that shit and you got to work it, night, oh, of course, screw that. You'd no. be like, no, there's nothing there. That was a squirrel farting in the back room. Exactly. Like, yeah. You can explain that shit away to your subconscious mind all you yeah, want. No, but uh, no, I can't blame them. So no, you know, stuff happens. You know, well, for sure. Yeah, and especially when there's like what ten buildings all conglomerated into well, of one course. thing. And it's it's gone through so many life cycles, right? Oh shit! So and many the people Hudson's, go through if there. If Hudson's Bay shit is in there, yeah. Like, it, it, what if it's more than paperwork in there? Hudson's Bay did a lot of crap. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. They could have other shit in there just besides paperwork. Right? Oh, I had also heard one other thing, another sighting that's actually seen quite a bit at the Winnipeg Auditorium, mm-hmm. because the way it was cut away, it was cut away in a certain 
style. If you can think of the arena now where you have the arena and you have the walkways that go around it. Mm-hmm, yeah. Apparently the first floor was in that fashion and oh, they took okay. some walls away to make it bigger, right? Oh, right, right, right. So apparently it is said that, uh, I think they see, yeah, like people, a guy. People pacing? They see, they see or they hear footsteps walking in that direction. Right. Like as if there was still a walkway there, but there's pacing not a around, walkway. But yeah. Not, yeah. And then I've pace. also heard there's been reflections in the window and stuff of older style clothes like right. people waiting for like the show to start or something or, oh sure yeah you know or waiting milling for... around in the intermission yeah. or some shit right yeah that kind yeah. of stuff right but yeah. that could be residual like who oh, knows who knows yeah. i mean you know once my time comes i got better shit to do than go to a concert hall but yeah <laughs> you know i'll fucking haunt everyone i'm that gonna was haunt the to me. shit out of all you assholes <laughs> guaranteed guaranteed and you know who you are <laughs> Yeah, so that's like a wrap up of yeah. check it out. It's a beautiful facility. If you ever go doors open, uh, Cindy yeah. Tugwell, we hope you get it going next year and all is well. Oh with shit! The play. Yeah, who knows what the hell is going to happen? Right? Who knows? But it is open to the public. You can go down there. You can check out archives if you want to do some investigations of your gishings. Investigations. <laughs> I don't know. Where I was taking that. Of their own. Well, because there was some stuff that we wanted to look up, and, yeah. and we would go down there. Oh, there's just so, so much so stuff much. to look up, though. It's just ridiculous. If we made any money at this, but you don't make money yeah, in podcasting. No. No. no, not with everybody and their dog having. We a would podcasting. actually work really hard. We would. We would. This, this sound effect says nose. What does that mean? Oh. Uh, that would be blowing your nose. <laughs> or what about this one, Hottie? Oh, oh that one's a good. A gentleman cop. Oof. Oh, my. <laughs> so, I guess, yeah, that ends this episode of the Winnipeg Archives, a.k.a. the Manitoba. Trying... Wait, Manitoba Archives, Winnipeg Auditorium. Civic Auditorium. Civic. Anyway. Civic. Civic. Not a Honda. Not a Honda. Wait, <laughs> bump. Here we go. Rim shot. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So again, thanks for coming back. Thanks Appreciate. for having us back in your life. Thank again. you, thank you, thank you for showing us the ghost love. Yeah. We don't know how many of you actually follow us on Facebook and if listen it's to us. Two of you, we love you. All five of you, bless your little hearts. <laughs> bless your little hearts. Yeah. But um, yeah, if you want to get a hold of us, email us at giving up the ghost podcast at gmail excellent and we're mostly facebook yeah twitter it's, twitter is twitter god. instagram and eh, you know it's twitter's not, got his their own thing going yeah on. tiktok i oh if you do oh, do tiktok, TikTok and... you're gonna like the last one we did with our ghosties and remember the first five of you that email us we will i will get it to you i'll send you a little ghosty a mini ghost show the love little ghost and I guess that's it. We got to do our next episode. We got to yep. refuel. Yep, must refuel. My ride's coming in about an hour and fifteen minutes. Tell him so, to be later. Yeah, he'll hang out or whatever. <laughs> he'll, okay. re- he'll residual us. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to think of this earlier. I'm like our shtick, the things we say, the things we do. I'm sort of. Oh, I know. So and then I'm like, oh, what do we do at the end? We say and remember to live every day like it is your last. But never give up the ghost. Never give up the ghost. Bye. Like what did we what did we say? I don't remember.